Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new Java video. Today we're going to learn about the switch statement and case labels in Java, okay? Um, okay, uh, for starters, uh, the first thing that you need to know about switch and case is basically that you can use them as an alternative uh, to the if and the else uh, statements. And that is because switch and case allows you to uh, create like these multiple cases in which you can choose uh, which uh, uh, certain code to execute. For example, suppose that we have a variable, uh, let's uh, create an integer variable over here. I'm going to create an x uh, integer with an zero value, okay? Now, uh, what you want to do uh, when you want to create uh, the switch uh, instruction, all you need to do is that you need to type in switch and then open up a parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, you are going to specify a variable. In this case, let's use the x that we just uh, created over here. And after that, go ahead and open uh, brackets, okay? Now, after that, uh, what you need to do is that you need to use case labels. And what these labels are for, they are to specify uh, several cases in which uh, you're going to execute certain line of code or block of code or etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, case uh, zero. The way you write a case is by typing in uh, the case uh, label, then the value which uh, you want to evaluate uh, for this variable over here. In this case, since uh, we are using integer numbers. Uh, we're going to use integer values after each case label and after that go ahead and write a column okay so uh, with that after you're going to write in uh, any code or piece of code that you like for example this is the first message and after that go ahead and type in another message okay now, if uh, we want to run this code, uh, what do you think is going to happen over here? Uh, we're going to evaluate this x variable, and since x is the same as uh, 0, we're going to go to this case, which is the case uh, with uh, the 0, okay? So if you run this code, we're going to see something really interesting happen. Uh, just go ahead and wait a little bit until this uh, code runs over here. And what we see is that we see this is a first, uh, the first message over here, and after that, we see another message. And this is really interesting, and I'm going to explain you why. Uh, when you use uh, the switch statement and you use uh, several cases, what you're going to do is that once you fall inside a case, you're going to execute all the following code. So you can choose either to execute all the code after the case that you're in or you can get out of uh, the switch uh, code blocks that you're going to fly, find over here. For example, you can use the break statement to leave uh, the switch uh, instructions and the several cases that are inside it. And if you run this code, we're only going to see the first message, but not the second one. So over here, do you see this is the first message and we get out of the several cases that are inside this switch and we will never see the case number one. Now there is uh, also another thing that you might want to know is that we can also specify a default action or a default case. Now this default is used uh, for when you do not have any match inside your cases over here. So let's say that x is the same as uh, 5 and you don't have a case for 5 over here just let's just put a break here and uh, let's say that if uh, you don't have any cases for this value you can specify another message uh, like an alternate code like uh, something really similar to the else uh, within the if statement so this will be like an else so check out if you have uh, any of these cases and if you don't you go to this default action so you can go ahead and type in this is the default action to do and if you run this code since a 5 doesn't fall inside any of, the, of these uh, cases you will see the message this is the default action to do while inside this uh, switch statement okay so that is something for you to know now uh, 
something really interesting about the switch statement is that you can use it uh, with uh, almost uh, any kind of uh, variable that you want. For example, you can use it uh, with integer numbers. You can also use chars. For example, if you create uh, the char uh, kind of variable, you will be able to perform the switch and case instruction. But uh, also since uh, Java 7, since, since uh, the seventh uh, version of Java, you can also use strings. So over here I'm going to create a string and I'm going to give it a value of uh, something, okay? And all these cases, instead of using uh, integer numbers, you will specify cases of strings values. For example, this will be hello and this one will be something, okay? So if we execute this code, we will fall in another message, which uh, will be the case something. So let's go ahead and execute this uh, code over here. And what you will see as a result is another message, okay? So with that, guys, I hope you uh, learned something new. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I will really appreciate that uh, So to help me grow uh, in this channel. And well, don't forget, you can also use uh, switch case uh, with uh, bytes, chars, uh, integers, uh, doubles, floats, uh, well, I think, well, <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but you can use it with strings, bytes, uh, almost uh, every uh, prim primitive that, data type you can use. And it is really a creative alternative, uh, alternative uh, to avoid using if and else statements and avoid using nested if and else statements. So with a switch case, you can create several cases in just one um, in, in one switch statement. So that will be really interesting. So thank you all for watching, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.